All right. I want to find the x-intercepts. After that, I want to find out where the derivative equals zero. And by doing that, you should notice that where the derivative equals zero should be between the two x-intercepts, as long as this is continuous and differentiable on the interval. So the first step is how do you find x-intercepts? Well, you basically set the equation. equal to zero. You need it for x-intercepts. When you do that, it's called zero product property. You set that equal to zero, and you set the other piece equal to zero, and you solve them. So x equals zero, and for this one you get x equals negative one. These are your x-intercepts. At zero and negative one. So, as long as this is continuous and differentiable, you should have a slope of zero between these two. Let's now find the derivative of this. So f prime x is equal to, this is the product rule, so it's going to be negative three times the square root of x plus one plus negative three x times one half x plus one to the negative one half and then I actually would have a times one but I don't need the times one in there. I'm now going to set this equal to zero and when I do this it looks like it's kind of a nasty one you're right you get negative three square root x plus x plus 1 minus 3x over 2 square root x plus 1. And when you want to set this equal to 0, this is a good practice one. Don't you have to multiply top and bottom with 2 square root x plus 1? So this becomes negative 6x plus 1 minus 3x over 2 square root x plus 1. And when you do all that, you get negative 9x minus 6 over 2 square root x plus 1. And you're going to want to set that equal to 0. The bottom we already set equal to 0. That is the endpoint. The top, when you set it equal to zero, you get x equals two thirds. Is two thirds in between these two points? Oh wait, negative two thirds, thank you. Because when you solve this, you get negative two thirds. And is it negative two thirds between these two points right here? Negative two thirds is between these two points. Okay. By the way, was the original function continuous on the interval between these two? Yeah, because isn't this continuous? Yeah, between zero and negative one, you could plug the values between zero and negative one into this equation. The derivative was also continuous on the interval. There's nothing that would malfunction it. So this is a value. At this point, you have a slope of zero, and it is in between these two. And by the way, this is rolls, because if these are x-intercepts, aren't they the same height of zero?